everyone i hope you're all doing well so in today's video i'm gonna be using these makat square nail tips to pull together a quick valentine's day press on nail set because i figured since valentine's day will be here soon it would be a good idea to do one of these type of videos especially since some nail salons are not open now i thought this would be a great idea so these are my sizes the first one for the thumb i'm a five for my pointer i'm an eight and when i what i do when i measure my nails is i just make sure it fits from side wall to side wall and that's pretty much it you can obviously cut these and make them shorter or you can buy longer ones as well i kind of i kind of was feeling the square look since i always go for a coffin so here I am, just really loving how these came out. I really enjoy the square shape compared to the coffin right now. It's just what I'm feeling. And I think these look really good for like, I think it took me like 10 minutes. So the next step would be to get a nail file and just file off the little plastic piece at the edge of the nail. And that will just take you like a couple of seconds. It shouldn't take you too long and they're really easy to file as well. I did get these tips from Amazon, so I will be linking everything that I'm using down below. So for today's red, I wanted like a nice cherry type red. So I had to go for this Young Nails gel paint and it was absolutely amazing. This is in the shade Power Up and I'm using my Glitter Bells gel brush I think it's, it is um, and I'm just applying that and all these gel paints are like one coat so I only had to do a coat of this um, I really didn't feel like I needed to it, these gel paints from Young Nails are really opaque and this brush was really nice too it was really easy to apply considering that I have really small nail beds this brush uh, worked really well for these nails and another great thing about this gel paint is that it wipes, it dries, sorry, <laughs> it dries um, like a no wipe top coat, meaning it doesn't have a sticky layer, which is really, really good. So for this middle finger, I wanted to do something a bit different and I just kept it clear and I started to do some hearts and I thought that was like the quickest thing to do because these hearts are not like very difficult to do it's basically like a thick v kind of but at the top it's more rounded if you know what i mean and then it looks like a heart so these are quite easy and beginner friendly ways to do hearts then i'm using these full beauty crystals that i got from aliexpress and i'm just applying these on the pointer finger using my wax pencil And I still left the coat underneath um, wet, so I hadn't cured it yet. And then once I've done that, I'm going to cure them now. And the next step is going to be to, for me to use this red glitter from Nailwig. And I've put it on where that box of crystals was. And I'm just basically going to be doing a glitter fade, which looks really cool in real life. Like on camera, it doesn't really show up too well, but... This red is like really really good i've used it before mixed with top coat and i feel like that would have worked better so if you want to and have the time to do it then definitely mix this red in with some top coat and then just as you're going down just pick up less glitter and it will create a nice little fade and that's that for that And then I decided to do like the tiniest little line on the tip of the thumb and pinky finger. So I thought that would just tie everything in a little bit more. And then I'm finishing off with my all time favorite Glitter Bells No Wipe Top Coat. And this top coat is super shiny and stain resistant, like it doesn't stain at all. And it's just very thick and very, very shiny. It 
it helps your manicure last for a very long time i've had it on for about five weeks now this top coat um and when i'm top coating around the crystals i'm making sure to go around them not over them because they will lose their sort of um crystal looking self i guess And now I'm basically going to apply these. So I did buff my nails before this. I accidentally didn't show it on camera, so I'm really sorry. And I'm basically just putting on some glue that I got from Amazon and I'm sticking these right on top. If you want your nails to last even longer, um, add some primer and dehydrator if you have it. If you don't, it's completely fine. Just make sure you're buffing your nail well. But don't use like a harsh file to over file the surface of your nails. Just make sure you're doing that gently and make sure you hold down each nail for about 30 seconds and that's pretty much it for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it it was really fun to make this quick little video let me know down below what you're going to be doing for valentine's day um let me know if you're going to try these nails maybe you can't get your nails done at a salon so maybe you can try this out let me know in the comments and here I am just finishing up. I did also put some cuticle oil just to let you guys know. And these are the final reveal shots. I really like how these came out. They look super cute. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.